Are you guys ready to be a professional? I know I am. Just gonna casually and humbly go over our record of 22, 2, and 1. When you're good, you're good. And again, big props to the GM for actually doing the thing. We currently have some pretty good stats as the goaltender with a 256 GAA, 917 save percentage, and we have not had a single overtime loss yet which means the backup must have. I can't remember why, but we wanted to play Toronto again for some reason. Maybe it was like a revenge thing, I can't recall. But anyway, we're gonna play them. What is this? Oh, did they, f I just did an update. I think they fixed the game. And just to let you know, I am recording this on March 7th. So I can finally request a trade, which I will not be doing. What is this? What's happening? Who's taking pictures of me? You gotta pay for that. So this is your first year on Chicago. Not true. Do you have any plans for this year? Yeah, probably to stop the puck. And they are all whirlwind. And they all have the same challenge. So I'm just gonna go with the first one, I guess. I don't know. So that's fire. We're basically guaranteed to unlock the whirlwind ability because there is no way someone takes this division from us. Impossible. Anyway, here we go against T.O. They are sixth. We are first, obviously. It would be absolutely incredible if any team could have a better record than us right now. So again, I don't remember why we wanted to play Toronto. That is not a good start. Cyphers buries one on Scott. It is 1-0 bad guys. Oh, but Poppy scores on his former team to tie it up. And that is the story of the first period. A lot of shots going on too. Yeah, wow. This is crazy. Goaltender standing on there. Heads. Not trying to jinx it or anything. But I feel like a goal is going to get scored before the third. By somebody. No? Okay. And the shots really slowed down at the end there too. What the heck? I wonder if they fixed having to reset the tethering and the toggle every time. Hopefully. But you know what? Step in the right direction. At least we have request a trade available. And whatever that media thing was. Big glove save to start off here. Was it Toronto that we were up like 4 nothing and they came back to tie it up? I feel like we still ended up winning that game. But I don't know. I'm just drawing a blank right now. As to why we wanted to play this team. It is Matthew's former team. That could be a reason. Matty Beniers gains the line and gets immediately pinned against the board. Stapled, if you will. Dobson, low shot. If I saved that, you don't even understand. I would have screamed so loud. Well, that's not good. We are now trailing by one. Seemingly in the blink of an eye. We also are about to be shorthanded. What a wonderful start to this third period. Picture perfect, one might say. Clean draw win. And Sergachev taking his time. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love that. The confidence on this man. To go, you know what? I'm going to keep a hold of this thing real quick. Kill off some of the penalty. And then also make a ballsy pass in the middle. Legend. I firmly believe the boys could get a goal. That was unexpected. Seriously, the penalty either just ended or was just about to. And then Danielson said, nah, you know what? I don't like being even strength. Yeah, I'm sending it out, of course. Of course, why would I not pass that over to Peak? Go. Robbins, getting double teamed out here. Now we got Kyle Wellwood with the puck. Manages to get by his guy. Risky business, but I knew what I was doing the whole time. I had it covered, guys. Another point shot. Thankfully, these aren't getting tipped, because otherwise we could be in one. I don't know where this thing went. We're getting a little bit lucky here. And I will welcome luck at any given moment. Finally back to even strength. And we almost score right off the bat, see? See what a little discipline can do? Jilson is in. Toe drag release. Big glove save. That was a horrible idea. On behalf of Scotty Sterling. But it worked out. Come on, Matt. Do what you do best. Score goals. 
I tip my cap to you, sir. We still got seven and a half. Tons of time here. Tons of time. How is that not a penalty? In what world do you not call that? I'm in disbelief. So you're telling me if I go up to a guy, just lock my arm around his head and slam him to the ground, we're chilling? Because I severely doubt it. I think we are going to be the opposite of chilling. Again, with the immaculate save. Unbelievable, this guy. He really wants to give us our third L. And you know what? With two minutes left, might actually pull it off. Ooh, quick glove. Horrible pass. Yet again. Toronto is still... They are not still in. Because they tag-teamed whoever that defender is. Come on! This guy's a brick wall. Oh dear. Oh dear, I was supposed to go to the bench. I was supposed to go to the bench, and I didn't. But now I am. Get me out of here. That could have been catastrophic. Great defensive play by whoever was there, though. And... Oh! Okay, so this camera thing's working now. Uh... Or is it? I'm gonna say that it's not working, actually. Well, there it is. Our third loss of the season. They just absolutely tucked that guy into the bench. Final minute, second. Final second save. We better win next game, I'll tell you that for free. This is unacceptable. Has this screen always looked like this? I could have just totally ignored it the whole time, and that's why I've never noticed, but it does seem different. Something about it. As heartbreaking as that is, we are going to simulate up to the Columbus game and hopefully put a beating on our former squad. Oh no, we lost to Calgary as well. Finally, we get back in the W train, but not keeping up the pace we were at. What are we doing? Win some games here, guys. Actually, I'm going to simulate up to the second time we play Columbus and we lose 4-2. And then we lose 4-1. This has got to be... One of the biggest collapses I have ever seen. But then we also just went on a five game winning streak. So I don't know what to say. I'm definitely blowing it out of proportion. You know, our record was just so good that every loss seems devastating. I think is the problem. And I just realized we better be in for this one. We are. All right, simulate. They are 17, 15, and six. So definitely going to be fighting for a playoff spot, but they are far from guaranteeing it. Awesome. Thank you, Trennan. Ties it up, and we lose it right back. Texier scores, making it 2-1. Are you kidding me? Power play? Five on three? With our team out there on the ice. Also, longest power play I've ever seen. The fact that we didn't score is insanity. But Pasta just saved the whole room from getting scolded with that goal. We are tied Heading into the third. Let's do this thing. Pasta gets it immediately taken off of him by Mullen. But you know what? He scored that goal in the second to tie it up. So he can do no wrong. Keep doing you. Didn't Trevor Zegras have like an insane amount of points as well? Or was that last season? I can't remember, but I feel like it was this one. He was absolutely lighting the lamp. Big save. Nice try. Almost caught Stover off guard there. But he still managed to get a piece of it. All right, still tied up here. There seems to be a lot of new faces on this Columbus roster since we last played there. Which, I mean, yeah, that's kind of expected. What a save. Holy, the goalies that we have been playing have been going off. Again, another big save on a Matthew Slot shot. We just got to crack the code. Once we get one, the floodgates will open. Mark my words. Probably would help if we hit the net. Nice! I do not believe... Great hit. Still don't believe what I'm seeing. This goaltender cannot be defeated. Nice try, Bedsy. Low shot going for the rebound. Another immaculate save by this guy. 
Like, it ha one has to go in. Eventually. You would think. We're okay. We're okay. Extremities check. Yep. All good. Get after it, Pasta. Get in there. Okay. Be nice if someone helped him out. This is the one. This is the one! This is not the one! It's not it. But we are still on the attack here. That's a strong defenseman right there. Removing Berkeley from the puck with ease. What have you got, Trevor? I refuse to let you score another one. Huge save. I feel like the goalies have changed. Something's different with these save, post save animations. There we go. The tendies just seem much faster for recovery and making a second save attempt. Also, we are about to be shorthanded with 4 minutes and 13 seconds remaining. Bedsy! I guess he's our captain now. Congratulations! You still can't be doing that! No way you just did that. I refuse to believe that you just did that. I don't believe it. There's a little thing called discipline, boys. Should probably do some research. Maybe even a little bit of Praco. Maybe we just got too confident. Got too much of an ego with that incredible starting record. To the point where we just sort of figured we couldn't lose. You never know. Weirder things have happened. What is going on here? Get the puck out of the zone. Thank you. Even strength. We managed to kill it off. Now we have to win. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, get in his way. Perfect. All right. So I may not have been able to acquire the puck. But I did set a pick so that 1-2 couldn't get to our guy. Blocker to side and they're still going. They're still going. Horrific shot. Not even close to the net. At bare minimum, at least now we are guaranteed one point. But I believe there is something bigger at stake here. Because if I'm not mistaken, we still have not lost in overtime. I, the team has, but Scott Sterling has not. The only possibility is that while I was simulating those calendar games, maybe it happened and I didn't realize. But I'm going to stick with the storyline anyway. That was a howitzer. Great reaction time from Scott, though. See, that's what a 98 overall goalie should be able to do. Go. Oh. Don't know what his overall is, but I imagine it's got to be... You know what? It's probably like 82. This is it. This is our chance. I just realized no one is back right now. Oh, whoever that is is hustling hard. So I appreciate it, but it still turned into this. Read you like a book. My guy, I knew what you were doing 15 minutes ago. This game's gonna go to a shootout, 100%. Berkeley is gone. He is gone. He's gone off the team because that was pathetic. Just kidding, Berkeley. I still love you. You're still part of the team. Still doing well, having a good season. Oh, I do not like these at all. All right, Betsy. Here we go. Here we go. No, not it. That is not it, Chief. Captain Trevor. I got to shut down Trevor. Oh, yeah. I was with you the whole way. Light work. Here's Pasta. Are you guys even trying? I have to ask. You know, I feel obligated. To throw that question out there. Have I told you that I don't like shootouts? Happy to keep it going. Not only does he keep it going, very cheekily, might I add. I don't know if this went five hole or not. I couldn't tell you, but either way, he also hit the goaltender with a firm elbow and continued to celebrate in his face. What a hashtag mad lad. All right, here we go. Johnson, you know what time it is. You know what
It wasn't- it wasn't time. It was not time. No, it was our first overtime loss! You've gotta be kidding me right now! I wasn't that upset, but now I'm fuming. The Ducks aren't doing well, but again, we gotta play our former team. The team that drafted us, I will simulate on up. We beat them there, 4-2. Love it. Of course, we're gonna go right before the deadline in this video. See if the GM continues to be a madman. I could be wrong, but just looking at the standings in the bottom right there, I believe we are still in first by quite a margin. So, things are still looking very up here. Have we come back down to Earth a little bit? Sure, yeah. But you know what? We are still having a season for the ages. You're facing the Edmonton Oilers. What is your game plan for stopping Jordan Gavin? Whatever the star answer is, because it's year of the brand. Of course I'm gonna act out. I'm not making a promise. We talking about promise. So we have 82 points at the moment and the next closest team to us has 72. So yeah, we are still out in front by quite a distance. But even with that, we cannot let our foot off the pedal. They will close that gap before we even know what's going on. Anyway, it is time to go duck hunting. Let's simulate. Huge goal by Sergachev on the nervous guy. Great way to start. All right, that's it. one nothing after one. Let's see what the second period has in store for us. Hopefully, another goal. It absolutely does. Bedsy gets one, and then we also get a goal from Costin. That's huge. It is 3-0. We still have the goose egg. The shutout's still there. And do I look nervous? Do I look nervous? Here we go. It is Scott against the team that drafted him, and I feel like we definitely have the upper hand in this game and just overall. That Columbus loss does sting a little bit, but you know what? We are going to avenge ourselves right here against the Mighty Ducks, and on top of that, I'm getting a shutout. So, you heard it here first. I just saw in the stats thing there that Matthews already has 86 points. And we are not even at the trade deadline yet. If I recall correctly, we had the top three guys in the entire league for points at the end of the last video. But again, at that point, we were 22-2-1, 22-1-something like that. Thank you for being there, Korchinski. Your services are appreciated. No way. They have not one, but multiple Muse on their team? We don't stand a chance. Nearing the halfway point of this third period, they have had a few chances so far. Speaking of, so to say nothing too crazy, that honestly might have been their best chance yet. This is the type of game where if I get the chance, I kind of have to go for a goalie goal. I would be remiss if I didn't at least try. And speaking of, this could be our chance. Marty the One Man Party also rocking the nice jersey number. This guy's an absolute menace to society. Takes a tripping call. They could be sending the puck down the ice here. We could be going for a goal. Slow it down a bit, Pasta. You're gonna hurt someone. Nice try. I like it. The set play off the draw. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Come back out. Come back out. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, baby. Here we go. Get away from me. Yeah, you don't stand a chance. Your cheeks, 2-3. Oh, where'd I go? There I am. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. I think I had the angle. I am fairly confident that that was going to go in. I will not lose this fight to Jordan Bidden. Who? Hold on. <clears throat> I will not lose this fight to Jordan Binnington. There we go. Oh, no. Is he looking nervous, guys? I can't tell. I can't quite tell. Oh, how'd that taste? See ya later. GG, no re. Three minutes and 30 seconds remaining until our inevitable shutout is obtained. Yeah. How's that for not being nervous? Okay, maybe I am like, like just slightly, just like a little bit nervous. You know, a couple nerves got struck right there, but 
It did not go in. It is still 3-0 last time I checked, which was uh, right now. Another glove save. I feel like I... <laughs> Maybe I should drop the nervous bit. It's just so fun. I don't know. It's not like it's every video. It's only when I see the guy. But I don't know. I, it's just something that I feel like I will never, when I first see him, call him by his name again. He's just forever labeled as the nervous guy. Five seconds remaining, all according to the plan. No goals against for the team that drafted us. Thing of beauty. Absolute thing of beautician. They did only have 27 shots, which I mean, like, yeah, that's still a lot of shots. Am I first start? Just skipping the replays, eh? To jump right to that. You bet your took us I'm first star. Back to the calendar we go, but only temporarily, because I want to simulate up to the trade deadline here, and then obviously we will go over it in the next video. And hopefully, like I said, our GM continues to be a complete legend and obtain some more players. We are first in the division. It is not close. 43, 14, and six. We are definitely gonna be first in the league, but Philly's only 10 points behind us and they have a game at hand. So we gotta watch out for them and maybe Detroit. But you know what? I'm still gonna say, this President's Trophy is ours. We already got it. You might as well just announce it right now, NHL. All right, go on your little tweeter and put out there your 20, what year are we in? Whatever. President's Trophy winner, Chicago. 92 points in 63 games. And Pasta has 43 goals and 85 points. These guys are illegal together. Bedsy is nearly point a game. He is on the second line. Gotta take that into consideration. Berkeley certainly trailing these two. But you know what? I'm not gonna complain because... He's got to be doing something out there. Sergachev's doing all right, 34 points. And then Korchinski with 22. Jacob with 17. Expect a little bit more out of you, Jacob. Somehow Aiden Hill is struggling. He has an 898 and a 315. What is your overall, sir? 81. He does have a shutout, but we have five. Not to mention our 919 save percentage and 243 GAA. And we are... 55 games in. Although we have played seven more games than Jesper Wallstedt, we are 11 wins up. And our save percentage is higher, goals against average lower. It is going to be a good hardware year for the Windy City. Kale McCarr just doing Kale McCarr things. 67 points in 61 games. Noah Dobson, number two. Not close. Owen Power tied with him, actually. And we still have the top two, but Dorsett is doing everything he can to catch up. McDusty's right there, 71. Z Chris and Jimmy Stu, 70. All right, well, that does it for this one. We are going to surpass the trade deadline to start the next video. See if our team changes at all, which we really don't need to. But if we do want to add some depth, something like that, then who's going to say no? We will continue our journey for the President's Trophy and as many individual trophies as we can, which right now, that plan is going mightily fine. If you like the video, your team's winning the cup this year. All right? I don't know how they're going to pull it off if they're in 32nd, but I don't make the rules. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you soon.